and this is why I love ISI I'm start ISI because the questions are innovative. It leads you to think and it connects you to real life stuff. So I will ask you to take this opportunity out to prepare for this and enjoy the process of learning. Hello guys, welcome to Chinta School of Statistics and Data Science. We are a team of extremely passionate teachers, researchers, and statisticians from the top universities of India and USA. Our mission is to help you curve your career in statistics, data science, and machine learning. How do we do that? Number one, we help you build your foundations. We achieve that by making an optimized plan for your learning journey. Number two, we help you prepare and ace your entrance examinations in statistics and data science, like IIT Jam MS, ISI MSTAT, and CMI MSA Data Science. Number three, we give our absolute best to help you design your career by organizing workshops and certified data science courses. It's a part of the course, as you can see, we have mathematics, probability, statistics, IIT Jam crash course, IIT Jam mock test, and then the crash course of ISI MSTAT, and also I'll see ISI mock test. So, ISI mock crash course contains both ISI, uh, like the crash course classes and the mock tests. Let me zoom out. So there are 12 lessons for the ISI course because we started from the middle of February and 12 lessons equivalent to almost three months or 2.5 months. So which is, uh, which essentially leads to the end of April or rather the middle of May after which we have ISI. So what happens exactly in this course, uh, unlike the mathematics probability and statistics courses that you have done, this is a lesson wise because it has a lot of uh, concepts in there. So we have a few type of classes. Number one is, as you know, uh, we are doing live theory classes, but we have theory classes. Uh, what happens in the theory class? In the theory class, a few of them are recorded. Okay. And they are mostly sample survey. And then the problem solving class and other classes happens and the problem solving and other classes also there are theory classes. So there are two kinds of theory classes. One is recorded theory classes that you can see in this recorded version. And also the problem solving theory classes where you can see the Urmish, Urmisha is taking, she's taking the problem solving and theory class. She's teaching the theory and the problem solving of the, the linear regression, linear models and experiments and all these things. And there are four different kinds of problem solving class. So what happens in the four different kinds of problem solving class? I also talked about it in the WhatsApp group that you have. We have two classes uh, problem solving that you can see. Tathagat and Shan, they take the mock test problem solving classes. So if you see in the assignments, you will see the mock tests. For example, ISM said full mock test objective one and full mock test subjective one. So every week there are mock tests assigned to you. And then problem set one that is for the linear models that Urmisha is teaching, and the assignment one that is Debargo is teaching. So you can see we have a lot of few lot of problem solving out there. So Urmisha teaches the sample solver problems and stuff. Um, Tathagat and Shan teaches the discuss the problem solving of the mock test objective part. Debargo does the subjective problem solving as you can see here at the assignment week one batch one, and. Uh, Shomojit does the subjective problem solving of the mock tests. Okay. So there are quite a few classes that are going on, as you can see. And this is the entire set of classes that will be going on till the end of April, right? And accordingly, uh, you will have this mock test out there. You can see. And ISI, one interesting aspect of ISI is that you do not need to worry about timing because that's never an issue, unlike IIT Jam. So yeah, around 30 problems, if you can do 24, 22, it's pretty good. And two hours for 24 problems around five minutes, okay, which is pretty good, right? Uh, so which you can easily do. Five minutes is pretty easy to do the mock objective mock test and you need more practice and that's why. And more different kind of thinking, okay, which is unlike IID jam. You need to really think through the problem. The best part is that the first 10 to 15 problems are mostly high school mathematics. So if you revise those concepts pretty well, uh, that are that you should do that. That's pretty easily doable because that should come to you like this because you're already done in your uh, in the in the in the 11, 12 syllabus. Uh, for the more preparation for more problem solving, similar to that, you should solve B stat kind of problems. The not the M stat entrance, but the B stat kind of entrances or other JE advanced type of problems. Those are the problems that come here in the first 15 problems. And then the probability and statistics comes up. So if you kind of aim to 
keep your high school mathematics pretty good the first 15 problems and then the next nine problems you can you can focus on like from probability and statistics if you have taken in the platinum course you must be really good at probability and statistics so i think that's a pretty good aspect uh there are very few questions from sample survey and design of experiments and linear models probably two or three so if you are not uh clear on that you can you know uh, we suggest you learn the topics from the uh faculties from the people who are teaching you so passionately uh, but if you think you are not so clear in that problem solving you can skip that it's, it's your suggestion but also pe some people think that is easy for them so whatever works for you but i i am giving you a kind of uh, a, a kind of a strategy and the planning is that there will be only problem solving based on the concept that you have learned okay that's all about it that's the whole purpose okay uh, so we have various four five kind of problem solving just attend the classes see the uh, talk to the faculty see how they are thinking okay and i would suggest write down every single solution down and that's why we have kept separate subjective discussion classes okay just to make you understand how to write the subjective stuff so to make this very instead of being online and seeing what other students are doing i would suggest that please stay keep your phone off stay and because of isi msat preparation is very different it's like the real learning preparation okay unlike every other examination of the world i can i can assure you that I have given I say B stat entrance. I have given um, um, Olympiads in Olympiads. You have you know five problems for four hours, which is crazy, right? I mean, and I am doing my PhD now here, and um, in my qualifying exam for PhD, where you know it's discussed kind of whether this person can do PhD or not. They give five problems or other three problems for three hours. So essentially, it kind of teaches you. how to think through a problem and that is important right whether you are doing research or job that is important how can you can sit and think through a problem and solve it step by step break it down into concepts solve those individual pieces and then get back the pieces of the solutions together and create a really good solution right and i i will tell you one thing i want to tell you one story i i had a, a podcast with romit molik he is a professor uh, at pensted um, and he is like I, i really like talking to him you can see the podcast in my own channel of youtube and when i asked him like how do you approach research he said a very interesting thing and which really stayed to me and uh since then i have been, i, I try, i'm trying to implement that in my life in every aspect of my life so he said that when you go to a conference uh, there are uh, three kind of work one or kind of work you do not understand because or other uh it doesn't excite you the other kind of work you see that you can see oh this is something i can do let's try to do it and the third kind of work is that wow it's like you see that emoji right where the brain blasts okay so that kind of a feeling like wow this is something i cannot do i really want to collaborate with this person so this is the kind of approach you should take in your problem solving and isi is this kind of problem like uh, exam it's like blast your minds and yes and that's why it selects like the best minds of the future okay and you will see every track record of isi person that's great always uh, probabilistically statistically not you know, always like statistically so the reason is that the selection procedure and uh, like it's like a bomb blasting kind of examination now you can get afraid after getting out of this meet uh, but also you can get inspired it's your choice right uh, what you do to use this course to the best of its abilities this is my suggestion make sure you write down every single solution out there with hand from every scratch so that you understand what's going on inside the problem solving okay ask talk to the faculty and understand that what's going on each of these aspects in each of the single pieces of solution and you have two months it's enough two months is enough to build that practice okay and make sure you do that step by step every single day Okay, I hope I have made it clear. Any questions based on this? So make a copy, write down the solutions down step by step. Understand what's happening. If you have a doubt, please attend the doubt training sessions. Now coming to the doubt training sessions, how the doubt training sessions will happen. So this is my tutorial, small tutorial to you how to upload your doubts. So you go to lesson one. Okay, you go to lesson one, and view your question, and here you add your doubt, or what you can do, you can. it's best suggested like this you make a doc file like this write your lesson 1 doubts 
uh, why I'm starting with lesson one because it'll help the faculties and you to get in touch with each other. So that this is because the doubt training will happen bi-weekly. Okay. Uh, but since it didn't happen initially, it will be starting from next week. It will happen two consecutive weeks. So you write lesson one doubts, then write your name. Okay. And then you upload a picture here. Let's say one of my doubts is, uh, let's say I didn't understand. Um, let's say, let's just give you an example. Let's say I didn't understand this concept. Let's say, for example. So I took a picture of this and I put it here. I make it short, make it easy for the faculty. The more easy you make for the faculty, the lesser, the more quicker he or she will be able to solve your doubt and then write your doubt, right? This is my doubt and write your explained doubt here. Okay. And then uh, the best it will be if you can keep a track of this. So write doubt one and then come to doubt two and why we prefer this kind of thing is of two folds one it helps the faculty of course it saves his time or her time and your time and the second it makes your doubt because often out of our habits we often ask certain things like we speak out loud instead of actually having the doubt you understand we actually speak out loud and that's not a doubt so essentially you speak out loud with yourself accumulate your thoughts conceptualize your doubt and ask your doubt with your clarity okay and that will help you you will understand oh this is the place where i have the doubt and then you ask instead of just putting it out there by itself that's why this uh, we have made this method a bit uh, organized so that you really understand the value of it okay all of it's clear say so every lesson lesson one that will be next week there'll be doubt and then you upload in the ne ne next next week okay and you keep on doing that every single week okay and um yeah I, I hope everything will be going very smoothly like it has been going in the past few weeks and yeah this 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 exam is very inspiring to me it's very beautiful because of the problem solving if you see one of the problems solving that really close to my heart you remember that uh in your childhood days you um we get and probably you know why i say childhood days because we used to clear at that time you have let's say chips packet and they used to get gifts or let's say with you anything buy or chocolate you they give a gift okay and there was a beautiful problem in ism set problem solving uh, like psb is that you know that this kind of chips les let's say or kinder joy they give seven different kind of gifts okay you can have you can accumulate seven different kinds of uh, pieces some let's say some toys the question is that, and each are equally probable, let's assume. The so question is that how many, on average, how many chips you have to buy to get all the toys accumulated? It's a beautiful problem because at a, as a child, we used to want all the unique toys, right? And we have faced, I have actually faced this, that if I buy quite a few times, I used to get the same kind of toy and it's, it's actually probable, right? And this is one of the problems. So it's solved. It's I, I think it's I forgot the gift problem or something like that. Yeah, uh, it's the collect all the toys problem. You can see that. I think it's thirteen to nine problem. And you can see that. But you can see the solution is here. Okay. And uh, the best part is I have in the, the R code for it for the simulation part to show you that it's actually correct. And this says that if you have a thirty rupees cheap sell, uh, it has currently exactly one toy each equally probable four types of toys actually you have to on average buy uh, the number of chips to be bought is around 3.83 so which is pretty interesting right so i will suggest you to enjoy the process of learning from this ism set and interact with faculties think and yeah that's all i want from you okay so all the best guys and to book a trial class for your preparation courses of iitgm ms isim style and cmi ms etc science Check out the first link in the description below. If you're enjoying the video, show some love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. We welcome you again to this passionate community of budding statisticians and data scientists. Let's enjoy the rest of the video. Stay tuned and stay blessed.